here at Pyroplexer in Grand Rapids, Michigan with Eric Reno. You got Rauco, and you are a tier two supplier to the auto industry. That's correct. You guys make? Uh, automotive stampings, welded assemblies, uh, very complex part, tight tolerance, um, steering columns, suspension, EGR, and some HVAC for both uh, automotive and uh, the commercial market. Excellent. When did you guys start with Plex? Uh, we signed the deal with them in uh, July 2001. Wow, so one of the you very, are a very, 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 very early, early adopter, yeah. So. And we worked very closely with them in uh, a lot of the development work uh, and what the system is today. Um, so we had a pretty, er pretty early role in, in, in what it is. Have you been to all 13 power plexes? Yes, I have. Wow. Do you get a pen for that? Uh, I got a little recognition at the 10th one. Excellent. So, yeah. so what's changed, right? You started early with them. I mean, you took a big bet on them, mm -hmm. and you've watched them grow. What, what's part of that relationship like? Well, the relationship's been fantastic. Um, you know, we worked with many other software houses uh, before Plex, and I'd have to say that the relationship with them is, is far, far and wide uh, been the best so far. I mean, it still is today, even after all these years. Um, our relationship with them is, is still very, very good. Um, you know, they come to us. Uh, the Google Glass thing today was was a, an aspect that they did at our place. Um, some of the keynote video that you saw was done at our place. Uh, and with our proximity to them, uh, we do new hire tours, so they can bring their employees out and actually see the software at, at work in a, in a manufacturing industry. Um, and then uh, prospect visits, you know, here and there, and reference reference calls, things like that. So this so. has been a tight partnership. Yeah. Uh, getting that, getting requirements and building on that. Mm -hmm. So, now what are you excited about from this conference uh, in terms of the product announcements? Uh, the finite, finite scheduling has is, is really got to uh, pique some interest here. Um, some of the supplier portal things, I think we could be doing better internally at Ralco. Um, so, that I'm learning some things there that uh, I think we can implement. Um, I've mostly been focusing on supplier side of things. So, do you like the new UI? How's the new user experience? Oh, uh, yeah, that's going to be good too. Are you going to F5 or are you going to go classic? Oh, uh, we'll go F5. We'll go F5? Yeah. Uh, why? Yeah. Um, I just think it fits better with the technology and where the browser industry is going. Um, the whole cross-browser thing uh, and the way that, that's heading, I think the F5 will fit better into there. And I think just from the user experience and the way the screens are looking, especially control panel, which is a very heavily used right. uh, screen on our shop floor, I like the way that looked. Um, I think it will be much more appealing to our users. And I think this gives it a, li a little bit cleaner, more professional look. Um, now, as one of the oldest customers um, in the reference program and being a, a source of advice for other customers, what would you suggest? Like, what things, when people are just starting out with Plex, would you suggest that they do? Like, the top three things they should think about before they... Um, develop a very good implementation plan, um, which I think Plex, um, over the years, has done a lot of work there. So the implementations, I think, go much, uh, much more smoothly now. Um, have a Plex champion. Um, or if they're a large company, maybe more than one champion, but at least have one person so there's uh, this direct line of communication so you don't have a whole series of people trying to feed things off the Plex. Um, and then I think the other thing would be uh, involve uh, your employees. Um, so if you're implementing tooling, get your tooling team involved or get tooling managers, and I think that helps with buy-in and uh, leans more towards a successful implementation. Does cloud manufacturing make it easier to uh, have business IT collaboration? Oh, absolutely. Um, before Plex, we had on-premise systems, and I was responsible for a lot of that. And so when we went to cloud computing, uh, it took some of that burden away and actually allowed me to uh, propagate into other areas of the organization and become more of a value um, employee. Um, doing other things for the company rather than just focused on making sure servers are running and backups are happening and things like that. So, Does Plex make it easier for new product introduction? Um, I would say it does, uh, just from the standpoint of creating other necessary records and things in the system that you need. You can easily copy from uh, very similar like systems or a product. Um, the communication tools within Plex help um, distribute activities and, and assignments um, around the, the organization. And then there's a uh, follow-up notification and things like that. Yeah. Great. Well, hey, this is, uh, you know, you've know you been here a lot. So any advice to conference goers in general that come to the next Plex conference? Um, yeah, I'm not sure on that one. Um, 
Are there certain sessions you look forward to, certain, I, certain activities that you think are really important? Yeah, I think you, I think or? Um, the networking, you know, talking to others, I think focus on where you think uh, some of your gaps are and try and hit a lot of those sessions. I mean, if, you're, if you can afford to send multiple people, send multiple people. So training yeah. sessions are good? Yeah. yeah. So. Well, hey, thank you very much, Eric. Uh -huh. So um, sure. we're here at the uh, th 13th annual PowerPlex event. Uh, and uh, thank you very much for your insights. Great. Thank you.